Robbie Weeds here. Um, I got a weed that uh, I don't see often, but when I do, it's very, very uh, abundant and uh, invasive, and it, it's uh, very ugly and comes up in the springtime. Um, it's called Fig Buttercup. Uh, it's also called Lesser Celadine or something like that. Uh, I've always been introduced to it as Fig Buttercup. It has the buttercup uh, flower, but uh, the leaves are quite larger and different than regular buttercup. Um, one of the main identifying factors is when you pull it up, it has tubers like uh, like nutsedge, these big, huge nuts that are all over the root system. You could see that it's uh, quite rhizomous. That's how it spreads. See how it grows out from there and uh, creates a... Uh, this is growing from one crown, but this gr uh, creates its tubers and it grows out from there. But um, this uh, this is quite ugly and it grows into thick mats. And uh, the yellow flowers are real unsightly and people confuse them with dandelions and see them in their lawns and want them out immediately. If you take a look at this, you can see it's the leaves are quite shiny. That would mean that it has a waxy cuticle, which is uh, very difficult for salt-based uh, or uh, amine-based, as you might call it, uh, herbicides. So uh, using a spreader sticker is very important no matter what you're using. Um, you could also use an ester-based herbicide and hopefully penetrate that cuticle a little easier. But um, this is uh, definitely something you want to use a systemic on because of the uh, under um, subsoil growth is something you need to make sure you kill as well. Same problem with uh, Canada thistle or anything that has strong rhizomous uh, um, growth. So uh, using um, just a regular three-way with a spreader sticker or you know you could even go to uh, a 2,4-D ester or um, another uh, um, you know you could always go up to turf line or spike it with turf line or garland or um, lawn trail and get some uh, faster more uh, uh, you know run a hotter mix and maybe not have to come back and spray it a second time but uh, just wanted to show you what a uh, fig buttercup looks like you know you see it in the spring around wood lines and on edges of uh, houses and uh, the base of uh, structures but um yeah this is fig buttercup uh, if you have any questions let me know uh, Robbie weeds out